Hey folks, Jihondo here, and welcome back to Captain of Industry. This is episode 47. In the last episode, we upgraded the guns on the Absurdities. Took them out, smote some pirates, there's more to do, but we got a bunch of them. And most importantly, captured this guy here. We now have water being brought in, eventually, by boat. Obviously none has arrived yet, as of the end of last episode it had just been leaving, but... Either way, that is now inbound, which is very cool. For today, what I want to start with is addressing this. This is not good. It's kind of holding, but it's definitely not good. So what I thought I might do, and this might sound crazy, but I thought I might just copy all of this and have a second one. Because this basically not only turns oil into diesel, but it also generates power doing it, and that obviously can only be a good thing, so as scary as this may be, well, I think I'm just going to grab the whole area and then I'll just get rid of, because we're obviously going to end up copying things like the pumps here that and these bridges and all that we don't need, but if I just grab this whole lot and put it somewhere, we try and just plank it right kind of like here. Yeah, this might work. I don't mind those ones complaining about no water, because those are pumps. We don't need those. So if I put you there, okay, obviously like it was saying, there is no pumps here, so that's completely fine. So none of that stuff matters. Obviously I don't need this ramp. Is there anything else superfluous here? A water tank? Do I really need that? Okay, well I definitely don't need the mine control tower. That can definitely go. That's definitely superfluous. Otherwise I think everything here is okay. Now it's just going to be the incredibly exciting task of, you know, connecting everything. <laughs> so let's do this one at a time. You are outbound from here. So you must be probably the sour water. That would make sense because that would be going out to dump off or to be processed. So, okay. So that pipe there needs to get onto the sour water bit, which is way, way, way up here. Yeah, we basically need to get onto this line here, I believe. Okay, well let's let's do it. <laughs> Actually, to make things easier on me. I think I will get rid of this bit entirely. Okay. So you are simply going to come across here. What is happening there? Who asked you to turn? <laughs> There's something in the way there, or are you just being difficult? I think you're just being difficult. Okay. <laughs> Some more. Now we can cut across here and try and work our way in. Okay, so as frightening as that is, that is that. Now what we'll want, we should do the ramps now before we forget. Okay. Maybe another one down here just in case. Although, now nah, this one probably doesn't matter. No, that's fine. Okay, so that's that line out. You are next. What are you? You are another outbound. You're being balanced as an input to here. So you must be... Are you steam? Yes, you must be the steam. Okay. So then where was that headed? Before I cut it off. It would have been this line. 
Oh, you were just helping out here, so you actually are not necessary to do that. So we don't need this balancer. You can just put everything from here. In fact, what am I using that steam for? Oh, I guess for this bit, right? Yes. So we will we can just get rid of this. Or we could if my UI size was decent. <laughs> All that part's unnecessary. This is so complex. Okay. Now both of you will simply go... ...into there. Okay. Now both of you feed... ...this one, which is probably overkill, but that's fine. Okay. Any other disconnected pipes? Yes. You are... Water out. No, you are water in. Okay, water in. You, come out here, please. Come out down here. And connect there. Yes, that's the water line in. Fine. We aren't bringing in biomass... Well, if we are, we can do it by truck, so we don't need that one, that's fine. Alright, what are you? You are an inbound... You must be water as well. Right? Yes, it's very hard to see, but you appear to be water as well. That's fine. In fact, that's very easy. You can share the same water line. That's that section. Is there any other disconnected bits? Obviously there is down here, but I don't see any more in terms of the machining. You want to be simply... Okay, if there is a, is there a layer for trees, that's just for harvesting. If there is a button for hiding trees, I don't know what it is, but it would be really helpful right now. <laughs> okay, what are you? You are... Are you simply an unrelated pipe that just happens to be passing by? I think you are, so you're gone. Okay. You are balancing water in from something else, which seems unnecessary. Okay. So yeah, so that's the water out from the cooling tower, straight to there, no problem. Okay. And then any that does land in here, I guess can eventually just be sent back to the mains, right? And we should probably ramp it. So I think I am okay now to let them build all this and hopefully, if that's all connected properly, that will not only be generating more fuel for us, but also more power. Hopefully being the operative word, but obviously that's going to take an absolute ton of parts and time, so that's fine. In the meantime, let's speed things along. I want to see my ship coming in. I want to make sure it picked up both oil and water in the same trip, or whether it goes out in separate trips, because that I don't know. I'm assuming it does both in the same trip, but there's also no, as far as I'm aware, indication to tell you how far away it is. So you don't even know when it's coming back, but anyway. Oh, there's our ship. Okay, good. So you did get both. Obviously the water wasn't completely ready yet, but that's fine. Alright, how are we doing here? We are almost done. You've already brought some oil in here. Very good. So we'll just be waiting on... 
Steam is ready as well. Okay, so just the pipes aren't done yet. Okay. Yeah, as soon as that ship came back, our diesel just melted because these things take yeah, 88 per trip. Because so I've been looking at the fuel here, and I had thought vehicles were by far the worst offender, but you can see they're not really that bad. It's really cargo ships that are doing it. So if anything, I probably should put this on, even if it means I can't put that on. That might help as well, but we'll leave that to be for a bit. Yes, you already definitely not need to be on a pump for much longer. Oh, wow. I've cut usage back so much. Oh, no, that's a separate pool. Oh, yeah, it's a separate patch. So I did have separate patches of water. Oh, okay. But I guess what I ought to do is maybe I should start actually exploiting this patch a bit. It's clearly not much is using it, if anything. And maybe I just throw a pump on just to, you know, accelerate the lines a bit. There's water out. I might even want a balancer to make sure it's stuff coming from the ship first. Actually, I could just use this same one. I don't even need to build a second pump. I could just use this one. If I just put a balancer on here. Say this is priority in. So then this part will only draw from the pump when there isn't enough water already passing through. So that will be very helpful, I think. Do I need to ramp across this? I, mean, I shouldn't, but maybe I will anyway, just to make it official and easy. Yeah, those are probably not necessary, but we'll do them anyway, just to, to make it nice. Okay, how are we doing over here? We are still working on the pipes. Although it looks like a fair number of them already. Water is flowing, I saw that. Yeah, we're not quite done with all the piping yet. Getting there, though. So you are still trucking stuff in. Did you seriously just truck in some oil? Or medium oil, I mean. Golly, I hope not, because <laughs> you definitely should not ever do that. Any oil, yeah, come straight from here. Crude as well should not be... Oh, crude is not even connected. So yeah, crude has to be trucked in for now, so that part's fine. But I guess now that I'm closer, that I could do. In fact, maybe I should. Since I'm going to be in here anyway making a mess, let's just make a mess proper. Yeah, that's the oil line there. What is... Okay. Let's try this again. necessary ramp, but again, I would rather have extra ramps than not enough. Okay, so now theoretically you should never need anything trucked in ever again, is the theory. This is looking terrible, so I really do hope this gets going soon. Okay, so we have enough of the piping that you are at least running in terms of power, so that's very helpful. Yeah, maximum here just went insanely high. Very cool. But you're not going to run for long, of course, because not all the piping is done. Yeah, you're not receiving steam yet. Well, you should be able to receive steam on this line. Nope, because I missed a square. I missed a square. That would be a very good reason for that. Yeah, it's you right there. 
probably can't get at that, so we'll just give that to you. There we go. You are now receiving. You are now distilling. Beautiful. You are now received here. You are not receiving any steam, though. Because you are not running from you to you. How did I not have that? There you go. Now you're getting steam. So now we are actually producing diesel. Okay. And the light oils. Which I guess, yeah, just go to you. So you can give us more steam to help that loop. Okay. And yes, we are now actually generating diesel and more power. Perfect. Okay, so that was, you know, quite the mess, but I think it is sorted, or at least it will be once the rest of the piping is done, but yeah, that's the sour water has nowhere to go right now, so right now it's being trucked out, which we do not want. I don't mind if this builds up for a bit, that's fine, because this is really just backup anyway, it's mostly just for diesel, so any power it makes is just bonus. But if that backs up, that's not a big deal. Because once this pipe is done, that'll all be fine. What are you short? Oh, another 40. Yikes. <laughs> and actually, water is now not as much of a problem. Food, I have noticed, has been ever so slightly slipping. So I am actually going to put on a small food boost in exchange for water. But water is much less of a problem now. Between that coming in the incredible discovery that I didn't notice that these were disconnected. I thought this was all one giant patch. So we basically have 21,000 more water here, you know, doing nothing. So I don't mind the farms using more water. Not a problem at all. So in terms of the parts being built, is there any backlog? Is there anything waiting on anything? You are waiting on yellows. The yellows themselves are waiting on whites. The whites are... I'm assuming going full speed. Yeah, they are absolutely going full speed. So that's fine. So it's just a patience thing. Or I suppose I could flip over my... Remember this one here is just a kind of whatever I need whenever I need a type. So maybe I will switch this off of electronics for a bit and let you work on some of these. Having said that, I'm really low on bricks and concrete anyway, so I don't think it's going to help because the, this is chewing through them anyway. So I do think it is just a patience thing. Alright, so the question of the day then becomes, can I improve bricks or concrete production? Where is bricks? Let's start with them. You are waiting on dirt. So I can't really do much of that because that we just have to wait on the mining. What about concrete? Concrete I think I have a little more control over, I think. You are... Okay, so it's water. Where are you getting your water from? Must be here. Is this coming off the mains or is this still just off a pump? Okay, so this is just coming from here. Right, basically out of this tower. So there's no reason you can't be supplemented by mains. Yeah, we can just bring mains across. That'll be totally fine. In fact, I think this is mains here, right? Yes, this is water here. You could even cut that down a little bit. And for all the difference it makes, it can stay super tall. Actually, no, maybe it can't. Well, it can stay tall here, but then it needs to come down to go under the ramp so as not to interfere with anything. Okay. And you can just cut across here. And join it up with you. There we go. So now your water supply will improve. And that means concrete will improve. And the other thing I noticed is 
Yeah, these never got upgraded, so I must have missed that section when I did the bulk upgrade bit here. Yeah, I clearly missed a section. Not a big deal, but there's no reason that they shouldn't all be done, right? No reason they shouldn't all be done. Actually, we should probably prioritize this bit. Because the sooner this part gets done, the faster we make more concrete, in turn we make more parts. So this part will make things faster overall if it's done first. Yeah, diesel's coming up very nicely. I like that a lot. Somehow you still aren't overloaded. Well, I guess because you're not receiving any oil, so you're not actually working. I was going to say, somehow you're not overloading with salad water, despite that pipe not being built, but... That's because you're not running at all. <laughs> Which actually means... Then how are you... I was going to say, you can't be running, right? So this diesel actually is... Just from the edicts. The fuel savers have helped enough. Yeah, that has cut significantly from you know up here to down here. And the vehicles... Yeah, it's kind of steady. It's not enough to matter, I don't think. Well, this still isn't done, but I did notice we're actually digging away giant mound of garbage, finally. Yay. We said that, that does mean that this isn't getting done. Which one were you? You were the coal? Oh yeah, you're the coal. That's far less important anyway, so that's totally fine. No, I'm actually quite happy with this. Let's get rid of this garbage. The coal we have coming in by boat anyway, so technically I don't even need this coal mine like at all. Like, at all, at all. <laughs> We're still waiting on this. It's very close. Okay, there we go. Boom, water in. Which now means you should very, very, very shortly start noticing your water situation drastically improving. There we go. So now you should never pause for water. And as far as I'm concerned, you probably shouldn't be pausing for any of this stuff either, so I think you're going to run steady until this fills, i.e. when we've overloaded back up with parts, which won't be quite a while, but that is my suspicion anyway, because I think water was the only thing that was holding this thing back. So that, in turn, should mean you'll be running far more often. It's irrelevant. You know, this one can run whenever it can, not a big deal, but this one should be running basically full-time now, assuming we can haul those concrete slabs over here quick enough. And it looks like we pretty much are. Yeah, looks all right. So that part all looks good. Water here is recovering now that this is being used far less often. These tanks are probably completely full, right? They sure are. So in all reality, I probably don't need this pump on basically ever. Now well, maybe I won't get rid of it. Maybe I'll just shut it off, just in case. And actually, it's good here, because this is where I usually look to come and look at the water levels anyway, so having a spot that where I know where a pump is without having to go hunting saves me some time. <laughs> Diesel's looking good, so I think I'm good to let the absurdities head out again, start burning some of this fuel. Let's go hunt something. What was your combat power now? 430. Nope. Nope. Almost, but nope. Oh, this will be a good test. You are exactly the same as this. So let's see if you're capable. I don't actually want the uranium mine yet, because I don't have the workers for it anyway. But let's at least go and see if you win or lose a tied battle. So I'm quite curious about that. Food is kind of slipping. So are we not processing enough bread, or are we just not eating enough bread? You are waiting on flour. Flower is waiting to get rid of animal feed. Okay. Animal feed currently is only being used for compost. Is there anything else I can use compost on? Oh, hang on a second. Let's. I want to see this battle. Well, you beat that one half to death before you even got the shot off. Okay, so it looks like we win tide battles. Cool. And 
nuclear energy. Excellent. Like I say, I'm not going to actually repair this yet. A, I don't want to waste the parts while we're still catching up, and B, I don't have the workers for it anyway, so I don't want the temptation. But that is good intel to know that we can win tide battles. Now, I was looking at food situation specifically. What else I can use compost on? Because as far as I know right now, the only thing I'm using it for is the fertilizer. But there should theoretically be other things for compost. Or excuse me, not for compost, for um, animal feed. Let's try looking at the right one. Okay. So this is ways to get it. I'm trying to get rid of it. So compost is really the only option, is it? I guess I could have a better mixer do it faster, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, I could boil it in a normal boiler. Okay, then let's do that. One of the, it doesn't matter which one, one of the normal boilers. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations, you are allowed as a third option to just burn animal feed. Because from our standpoint, it's no difference. It takes the same amount of time, produces the same amount of steam. I don't care that technically it's you know less efficient in terms of number of items. Same as the biomass, who cares? So yeah, absolutely. Let's just turf that that way. That in turn lets I get back down here. You now will be less overloaded, which means you can actually start running again. We can start producing flour. I wonder how long I've been out of either completely out of or very nearly out of bread. Because this has been dropping, I had noticed that. That's the whole reason I started looking at this. Yeah, we now have bread again. Well, what a concept. <laughs> Having said that, is there any reason your flower shouldn't go straight to here? Is there a reason for that? I can't think of a reason for that. You are a flat conveyor. I mean, it's going to be messy, but is there any real reason you can't do that? If I just, and if I just bring you down here so I have room for a ramp, then this should be totally fine. Oh, I may need to do something about this pipe then. Maybe that's why I didn't do that in the first place. Okay. Plan B then. What if I just lift this pipe up and run it underneath on this side? Maybe that will work. Maybe that will work. Can even. Actually, this might be so tight together I might not be able to. I might have to move a lot of this actually. That's fine. I can do that. So if I just move you back here like so, and you over here like so, then you could come out here raised and if I've done that right I should be able to sneak a conveyor through there yes I can glorious okay because there's absolutely no reason that that shouldn't be automatic right no reason I can think of anyway you still will need the animal feed well, that can also be conveyed here, no? Yeah, why did I never do all this? I don't know. <laughs> all I have to do is raise this bit, a pipe, and it'll be fine. Actually, it might make it easier, in fact, if I... Because I raised the part back here. I don't know why I didn't just raise the whole thing in the first place. There. 
you'll be fine. And now we can U shape, U straight in there. Is this not raised enough? No, that should be totally fine. Why are you not happy to U shape? Okay, you all saw that, right? <laughs> I'm not going insane. A minute ago you were not happy to do that, now you are. Bizarre. Anyway though, that now means your outputs do not need to be trucked out anymore. Once this is done, then that should only take a second. Especially if I click the do it now button. These may not be able to get at these so easily. You need a couple more of these, please. Pleased to be making a couple of red parts. Thank you. Somebody else grabbed him. As soon as I see that flicker, I gotta pause it real quick so I can make sure I get them instead of something else. There we go. Ah, how did you do that? How did you get that that quick? There we go. Okay. There, now all that bit's back in and running. There we go. So now animal feed comes out here. Or excuse me, it comes out here. Where it can be picked up and either turned into fertilizer or just boiled. And flour is going here automatically. So bread is going to run just that much easier. And food, I think, will start to improve. Okay, well with that, I'm going to call that an episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.